good morning this is alexis or julian alexis founder of campaign p31 a platform for women who are chosen to set apart and welcome to the morning set in case you have never run into me before welcome to my youtube channel on saturday mornings every saturday i try to post a video called the morning sip but today i didn't feel like doing any sipping in the morning so i decided to come to you in the afternoon but you will see it Saturday morning. So I am excited to have you here and welcome again. I wanted to talk to you and all the rest of my followers about something that has been popping up here and there for the last week and a half, two weeks in my world. And it's this word, the word is shift. Ouch, shift. I wanted to tell you a little bit something about that. So here lately in my house, it's quiet right now because I got one kid who's laying down for a nap and another kid who's watching television quietly. So I figured this would be a great time for me to be able to sneak away and to spend a little time with you. And so all of that in between construction in my house. So we are currently remodeling. And it, as you can imagine, when we are already at stay at home orders and partial quarantine and we've already been in the house for I don't know how many weeks at this point, Remodeling and shifting and changing out old things and making them new does not seem ideal. But my husband and I were talking about it and it was like, well, when else would we have this much time at home? And if we're going to be here for a while, we might as well make it comfortable. And so I thought this was actually a great opportunity, but it's always an exchange for your peace. So... I wanted to talk about what even led us to this portion of remodeling. Um, as we've been picking out different places within the house that we want to kind of refresh, what it's brought to my attention is all the things that we have neglected, allowed a layer of dust to grow on, <laughs> or even painted over and maybe we shouldn't have. think sometimes we neglect things just because it's out of your sight, out of your vision, or maybe you're moving too fast to notice it or see it. Typically, when we prioritize our list for remodeling, we prioritize based on what is about to crumble or fall apart. And in our case, that was our deck. It had gotten to the point that our deck was... We were concerned about the kids going into the backyard because we just thought maybe... Any day now, they might just fall through. So that was an immediate need. We had to replace that almost immediately. But in doing that, the Lord brought to my remembrance like, hey, this is kind of what you do with your spiritual life. You let it go so far till it's decaying before you seek me on how to bring it back or how to refresh it or how to renew it. And he was right. Oftentimes, we'll slap a coat of paint on it and keep it pushing. Throw some makeup on, dry your eyes, and you don't deal with the core of the issue, but you only deal with what's on the surface because we're too busy. And then I thought about the scriptures, Romans 12 and 2, where it says, Present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy and pleasing to God. And it says, the chapter and the verse or the version of the verse that I remember is for this is your reasonable service. But this particular verse says this is true worship. True worship, not the worship that you experience in the sanctuary when the praise is high and you can't do anything but lift your hands. But true worship from soul to soul, from core to core, presenting yourself a living sacrifice. That's why he says, do not conform to the world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. You've got to change the way you think about things. That is what's going to change you, how you think about it. But that has to be in alignment with him so that you might be able to discern what is good, pleasing, and the perfect will of God. I understood the scripture in such a new way. I've heard this scripture a thousand times and probably have quoted a thousand more, 
but never had I understood it this way. Because when it's time to shift, when it's time to refresh or renew, what are you renewing it to whom standard? To what standard? What materials are you using when you renew and you remodel? Are you going for status quo, just the same old, same old, just to kind of replace what was there before? Or are you going for the good stuff, the quality stuff that might be a little bit more painful because it's hitting your wallet a little harder, but it's also going to last a lot longer? What are you shooting for? For me, this season of remodeling, both spiritually and in the construction of my home, has really made me dial into what it means to abide to find sacred spaces and to find peace as you work through the hard stuff. So we bought this house about 12 years ago, my husband and I, when we were um, about six months out from our wedding and we had a little guy and he was about six months old. And so we wanted, we were so excited because we wanted to spend his first birthday here in the house. And so I thought with his first birthday coming up and the wedding coming up and doing some really hard stuff that it probably would not be ideal to have a whole bunch of projects moving in. So we moved into a turnkey situation and it's been great for 12 years, except for there were things that we just started to kind of live with and not notice that needed a little TLC along the way. And um, you get to a point where you cannot go any further. And that is the point at which you raise your flag and you wave it with a little zest and you say it's time to shift it's time to remodel we need to stop right here and refresh this thing right here evaluate what's going on and stop the bleeding we need to fix it but not just fix it to what it was before fix it and make it better than the way that we even moved in we need to upgrade it and if you've ever had an opportunity to abide with God, then I hope you understand that that is upgrade. Because there's doing church every day and there's there's the daily um, prayers and devotion and stuff like that. But then there's that sense of abiding when you like really get to spend some good, solid, quiet, intimate time with God and his word. And he starts to reveal stuff to you where you cannot write it fast enough. That's the good stuff that ruins you for church from church as usual. So I hope and I pray that this word has found good ground in you. And I hope that it's been an encouragement to you to take the time to shift. Take the time to prioritize what needs to be worked out at its core versus what you can just slap a coat of paint on. But I really I'm going to push you and challenge you to not just settle for the, the coat of paint, to go for the good stuff. Seek God in every area of your life, every aspect, and allow him to do the necessary work to refresh you, to remodel you, and to renew you. Let's shift. All right, you guys, I'll see you later.